Good morning. I'll start with two questions. How many of you in this hall have got a Twitter handle? By show of hand, or they tweet? How many are on Facebook? Almost everyone. Okay, I'll tell you a story. I'm Joseph Macharia from Kenya. And uh, I'm a son of a peasant farmer. And I was brought up in the village, like any other little boy. And in school, life was good, because we did not know many things. And uh, growing as a son of a farmer, a small-scale farmer, my dad made sure that I follow his footsteps, that is being a farmer also. So every time he wakes up on weekends, he could invite me to go assist and assist him in the field. It wasn't easy, but that is all what I knew, agriculture. When I went to high school, I never liked to be in, the, in agriculture. But my high school teacher in agriculture gave me all, almost all the, mask, all the marks. So it was like 49 out of 50. Very good, Joseph. Keep it up. That inspired me. But at home, my dad was telling me, if you want to have a decent life, drive, be a bright student, and take another course, a professional course like being a lawyer or, doc or a doctor. So I realized that maybe agriculture will be a subject that will be able to appraise my marks so that my average grade will make me to be admitted in that professional course. But the inspiration of being told, keep it up, Joseph, excellent, I think made me, made me also to look forward to get the marks, uh, the exams when it comes to get that marks of excellent, keep it up, Joseph. And so I, I got a, a good grade, and I was admitted to a university to do a course related to biology and agriculture. But I was to be a high school teacher, and I did finish. And I was employed by the government to be a high school teacher. But before I went there, I went for an internship in one of the uh, organizations that carries out research on insects. It's called ICPE, International Center of Insect Physiology and Ecology. And I was interested in these insects called bees. You know bees are very hard working. And I was int introduced to working with the community in the village. And I realized that the community have got challenges. They have many questions that are not, that are not answered. So I took that initiative to study the bees and to answer some of the questions, especially the behavior. And that's how I came across stimulus bees. I did my best and I got all the questions, went to the lab, answered and went back to the community. It was inspirational. I got to work in agriculture. When I was working with the community, every time we would invite or we would call for meetings, and I realized there were old men coming, old, really old. Last year, our president was concerned that in Kenya, an average farmer is about 65 years of age. I realized that this is an opportunity. What is happening to the youth? Why are, not, why are they not here? If you Google or you search, there are, there are so many things that are documented as to why the youth are not in agriculture. We know them. Culture, lack of flood, lack of finance. But what are we doing? On 18th December last year, 2012, seated somewhere, I realized that you need to go where the youth are. And because I'm one of them, and you all said that you are on Facebook, I opened a Facebook page and the name was Mukurima Yang. Mukurima is a Kiswahili name, and it means a farmer. And I realized in Kenya, youth like a language that combines Kiswahili and English. So I thought maybe I'm getting one of the recommendations people say, make it sexy. So the Mukurima page was opened, and I was the first person to like it. By January, I had five, and I kept on posting good things. What do you think about this? Stealing, in quotes, other pictures from other pages and posting them there. 
Then liking became, and people by, by February, I had almost over a thousand. Then I saw, oh, you are here now. So I realized that I was inspired. What can I do to inspire these young people so that we can have interaction in this page? I started getting stories that are inspirational. Many people say that you are not in agriculture, but I can say today they are. All what we do, we do not have those stories of those people, young people who are in agriculture. They are not recognized. We don't celebrate them. We celebrate the musician, the footballers. So I got the stories, and I named them Mukurima Young Champion. If you are a champion, you are a young person under the age of 32, you are in agriculture, you are also educated, and you are earning money. And I wrote those stories. And it became so popular that every week people were looking forward to see who is the next champion. The number grew. By July, June, I was having over 7,000 with the many champion stories that were inspiring others. Many people are now asking questions. How can I do this? Where can I sell this? Where can I buy this? I realized that Facebook does not belong to me, but I'm not good in IT. My background is in agriculture. So I got another young person who told me that I'll make a platform that is interactive where people can ask questions and they can sell their commodities and ask where they can buy. And that's how Mukurimayang Soko was born. Soko means a market. So it is a web page. You can take a photo of, your, of what you are selling, give us your information, post it there. Then after two minutes, it's taken to Facebook. So you have more readership on Facebook. So in July, we opened a page where people could market their products and ask any question related of, on where to buy. Currently, we have over 10,000 people registered there. And they are selling, and they are buying. Our, celeb our celebs in agriculture were identified by the media, and there were stories were written in the most popular newspaper in East Africa, that is the nation media. That created a good feeling to them, because for the first time, young people in agriculture were recognized. I was able, maybe, in a way, to solve three major problems, that is information in agriculture that is relevant to the youth and targeting them. Because we have lots of information on the web, but are they targeting the youth? Are they relevant to them? So we were able to provide that. Number two, we were able to provide a marketing platform where they can buy a digitalized market platform for agricultural commodities only. But I had the other greatest challenge of finance. I'm not a bank, but they kept on asking, Mukurimayang, you are telling us this, we can sell, but we don't have money. Then somebody, when we were at 13,300, suggested that, why don't you develop from these numbers a micro savings? And we call it Mukurimayang Sako. A Sako is a, a cooperative savings driven by us, with us. And the slogan of Young Farmers Helping Young Farm Farmers came. I was given the mandate to see the legal requirements and all the requir requirements for registering that circle. And last week, we are almost 90% uh, of registration. So they will have a saving where they can save their money, they can elect their leaders, and they have a circle where they can now be able to give loans according to their savings. What we have learned from that is that group work works, and if, if you are promoting agriculture to the youth, it is also good to be a farmer. I'm a farmer. I have got three dairy cows. I plant coffee, so I can identify them, myself with them, and I talk their language. Also, the young people who are educated are better off to get the message and take it to the rural area. Because when the rural young people see that an educated person is also able to do that, they see it is possible. And if you have been able to pull a number of about 13,400 young farmers on social media within 10 months on Facebook, interactive, I think it is possible. And the youth are in agriculture. And they are not only in agriculture, but they are making money. Thank you.